And once again, welcome to our series of lessons. Um, today, we're going to be talking about an area of vocabulary building. And as you can see on the board, we're going to talk about the register of religious words. In other words, we're going to talk about a number of concepts that one discussing issues pertaining to religion has to make use of. What is the importance of register? Register enables us to discuss issues, to discuss subjects effectively by using the right ways or ways that are appropriate to the field of human activity that we are discussing. So today then, it is about religion. Let us take this example. says, from the beginning of time, theism has been a widespread philosophy among humankind. So our religious register, the first one today is theism. Now what does theism mean? Theism means some form of belief in the existence of a supreme being who is believed to be the maker and creator of all things. So theism means a belief in God. That philosophy of believing in God, the acceptance that there is God and that He is the Creator. That philosophy or that outlook in life is called theism. Now take a look at the word theistic, an adjective derived from theism. A theistic person believes that there is God. A theistic person believes that, believe that there is God. So that's what theism means. Sentence 2 says, a theism, a theism is a belief system that denies the existence of God. So we can see that a theism is the opposite of theism. A theism is a body of belief, a system of belief that says in a layman's Palace, that there is no God, that God doesn't exist. Because of this, the atheist, the atheist, a noun form, refers to a person who doesn't believe in the existence of God, just like theistic has to do with belief in God. We can also say atheistic, referring to a belief in God, the adjective form of atheism is atheistic, while the person who doesn't believe in God is called an atheist. Agnosticism is a middle curse between theism and atheism. It introduces our third register of religion, agnosticism. Agnostic and agnostic. An agnostic is a person who advocates the principle of agnosticism. What does agnosticism mean? It says very simply that God is unknowable if he exists. That God is unknowable if he exists. The agnostic does not deny the existence of God. Right, the agnostic says that there is no way of knowing whether God exists or not. God is unknowable. That's what the agnostic declares. If he exists, there is no way of proving that he exists. If he doesn't exist, there is no way of proving that he doesn't exist. So it's a middle way, so to say, a middle cause. 
He does not subscribe to, the agnostic does not subscribe to the principle of theism, which accepts the existence of God. And also doesn't subscribe to the principle of theism, which says God doesn't exist. He says it is simply unprovable. That is what agnosticism means. Our first register of religion is dogmatism. And this sentence says, an extreme advocacy, an extreme advocacy of a principle that violently repudiates any opposing view is known as dogmatism. Now, um, this sentence defines dogmatism. It means to hold a view so tenaciously that you are prepared at all times to fight and kill in defense of that belief. That manner of behavior, that manner of belief system is referred to as dogmatism. It is an extreme kind of belief. Therefore, the adjectival form, dogmatic, defines a person who has a dogmatic belief, a dogmatic person, a dogmatic belief, a dogmatic religion, a dogmatic association, a dogmatic acquaintance, and so on and so forth, a dogmatic philosophy, and more. Ecclesiastic issues. Ecclesiastic issues are better handled exclusively by the clergy. Now, ecclesiastic means the order of priesthood, the order of priesthood within a given religion. It simply means the priestly class in the religion and the ranking system the ranking system of the priesthood in a given religious setting is what we refer to as ecclesiastic. Now, the word clergy, a religious register, means the priesthood, the members of the priesthood in a religion are referred to as a clergy. Now, to compare the word cleric, cleric, each priest, each individual priest in the clergy is referred to as a cleric. For instance, a reverend father, a deacon, a pastor, an imam, and other such members of the religious um, priesthood, or other such members of the clergy are referred to as the cleric. One individual out of them is a cleric. A diocesan, a diocesan episcopal reunion has been organized. A reunion of bishops. The word episcopal means having to do with bishops, especially in the Christian religion. The bishopric, bishopric, or the bishop class, the class of bishops in Christian or in the Christian religion, is referred to as. Episcopal. So when we talk about Episcopal meeting, Episcopal gathering, Episcopal conference, Episcopal writing, we are referring to that which has to do with bishops. So the word is an adjective and it can be used to qualify most nouns. In this sentence seven, it says the annual synod, the annual synod of the Asaba Catholic Diocese falls soon. So the, the word synod means a conference of bishops. It actually holds every year, annual, as annually. A conference of bishops is known as the synod.
All right, uh, let us take a look at these services. Number eight says, and a communal think tank has been set up to smoothen the theological differences among the Christian sects. And in this sentence, we've underlined the number of words, ecumenical, meaning an arrangement that brings different sects or different branches of the same religion for a joint purpose. Good. We talk about ecumenical education, for instance, where what we usually refer to as denominations or sects, sects of the Christian uh, religion, where they come together to educate themselves irrespective of what branch of Christianity they are coming from. It is called an ecumenical arrangement. Theological, an adjective derived from the word theology, meaning having to do with the principles or teaching on the basis of which a given religion is built. We already said that sect means denomination, branches of the same religion. Number nine says, in Dublin, sectarian violence left as many as thousand, left as many as a thousand deaths. Sectarian violence, sectarian derived from sect, meaning violence among sects or branches of the same religion. Number 10 says, the belfry summons Christian faithfuls to prayer sessions. Every um, autonomous Christian church has a bell tower. It is called belfry. The bell tower is called belfry. Uh, the tower has a bell that rings during prayer times to summon Christians in the neighborhood to come to the church for prayer. Something equivalent happens among Muslim fetters. And then the bell tower is called the minorit. Minorit. The bell tower attached to a mosque is called a minorit. While the Muslim, whose voice we hear from the minorit every Friday, summoning our Muslim fetters to the Juma service, is known as the Muezzin. So the voice of the Muezzin is the one we hear every Friday afternoon summoning Muslim faithfuls for the Juma service that calls every Friday. Our viewers, um, it's unfortunate that time is not always with us, that we will always continue. So we'll draw the curtain on our discussion on religious register or register of religion today. I hope that we have learned much in this brief a couple of minutes that we have spent together. Thank you once again for viewing.